A team of scientists led by William Baruki of NASA Ames Research Center and including Alan Boss of Carnegie's Department of Terrestrial Magnetism has discovered what could be a large, rocky planet with a surface temperature of about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, comparable to a comfortable spring day on Earth. The discovery team used photometric data from the NASA Kepler Space Telescope, which monitors the brightness of 155,000 stars. The host star lies about 600 light-years away from us toward the constellations of Lyra and Cygnus. The star, a G5 star, has a mass and radius only slightly smaller than that of our Sun, a G2 star. As a result, the host star is about 25% less luminous than the Sun. The planet orbits the G5 star with an orbital period of 290 days compared to 365 days for the Earth, at a distance about 15% closer to its star than the Earth from the Sun. This results in the planet's balmy temperature. It orbits in the middle of the star's habitable zone, where liquid water is expected to be able to exist on the surface of the planet. While the mass of this new planet is not known, it must be less than about 36 times that of the Earth. Earth-sized planets whose orbital planes are aligned such that they periodically pass in front of their stars result in tiny dimmings of their host star's light, dimmings that can only be measured by a highly specialized space telescope like Kepler. The planet orbits in the middle of the star's habitable zone, and it might be not only habitable, perhaps even inhabited. This discovery supports the growing belief that we live in a universe crowded with life. Kepler is on the verge of determining the actual abundance of habitable Earth-like planets in our galaxy. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.